Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. A microchip for a pet is meant for peace of mind in case they ever get lost. But a Chicago cat owner is suing a local vet to make a point about microchips after a bizarre incident. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas takes us inside the case. Tiggy, ooh, baby. Meet Tigger, the cat at the center of a Cook County lawsuit filed on behalf of his owner, Debbie Richardson. I want accountability, reasonable accountability. Richardson's lawsuit says her daughter's ex-boyfriend stole Tigger a few years ago while the family searched for him. They say the ex-boyfriend somehow convinced the Portage Park Animal Hospital and Dental Clinic to remove Tigger's microchip. He wanted to keep Tigger. The suit says that chip was registered to Richardson. It's not about money. It's about them being responsible. I mean, they are the ones that we're depending on to take care of our fur babies. And the fact that they would just do this is disturbing. We found similar stories online of pet owners or their exes navigating murky legal waters regarding microchips, the implanted devices that help owners track down lost pets. I mean, this is something that should concern people across the board. We wanted to ask the animal hospital why they'd removed Tigger's microchip, but a manager told us they can't comment because of the lawsuit. If something doesn't seem right, it probably isn't. And they need to be professional on the way they pursue things. The American Veterinary Medical Association offers best practices and policies for animal hospitals. We asked them what their stance is when it comes to removing microchips. Turns out they don't have any guidance on that. He's just not happy today. Richardson says she wound up getting Tigger back from the ex-boyfriend through an earlier lawsuit. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. As mentioned, the American Veterinary Medical Association has no guidelines on chip removals. We asked a respected suburban vet who told us there are some rare cases, like when a tumor grows near a chip, that removal might be medically necessary, but that's not the case here. And chips almost always should remain implanted for the life of an animal. For more stories like this one, you can download our CBS Chicago app. Look for the section called Morning Insiders.